What is going on everyone? Welcome to another video from Feature Tech. In this video, I'm going to be giving you a walkthrough of the updated Dyson Link app for your Dyson fan. Let's get started. So when you first open up the machine, you are greeted with a bunch of different menus, options, settings. So we're going to start with those three lines up here. And if you press on them, what you can do is if you have multiple Dyson machines, you can navigate between them. So as you can see, I have another pure cool. Uh, it's the TP06. So I have that also. And if you only have the one machine, you can just disregard this area and then you can access your account, get help and support and even get live chat. Or you can just learn more about the Dyson technology that you have, such as your fan or purifier. Next in this corner right here, the top right, you have your settings, uh, which is for the machine itself. So you can go under machine settings. Now this provides the serial number for your machine in case you do need to know it. You can also schedule your machine. So if you want your machine to be running at a certain time during the day or night, you can schedule it using this feature and then this is more of like an instruction manual for the machine. So in case you need to learn more about your machine or you have any certain questions that you can't find, you can get access to the owner's manual. Then you have your voice control, which you can set up. I actually made a video showing you guys how to set it up, your, your voice control with your uh, fan. And then finally, if you press on the shop and parts, uh, shop parts and accessories option, it will get accessories that tailored to your machine. So it's not like it's gonna show you accessories for the Dyson vacuum. So that's very neat. The next thing that some of you might have not noticed with the app is that if you scroll down, it gives you all the data based on the address or the town that you put in. So for example, for, for me, I put in Princeton, New Jersey, and it's telling me the current outside temperature, the humidity level for uh, the humidity percentage for Princeton, and it's giving me all the particulate matter, whether it's the 2.5 or the 10 particulate matter, all these things it's telling me right on here, as far as the outdoor air quality and temperature and humidity, it's all there. And it's also giving you your pollen level. So it's, it's right now shuffling between low and moderate. So now that I showed you that if you scroll down, you can see all the outside, all the details for outside, the weather for the town or the city that you're in. When you go back to normal here, and if you scroll up, you get access to all the data that you would cycle through using the I button on your remote. You get it all right here and all in front of you at one time. So you have your temperature, humidity, particulate matter levels, everything right here. And then what's really cool about this is that you can look up the historical, uh, the historical pretty much data for your air quality up to a week before. So I can go back up to Sunday. It's currently Saturday. So you can, you can really go back up to a week and look up how the air quality was. And it's the same thing with all the different settings. So the particulate matter, you know, the two different particulate matter, even the volatile organic compounds. And you can even do the same thing with temperature and the humidity levels. So if you're looking to get more in an in-depth summary of your data over the last week, you can do that. If you don't want to scroll down, what you can do is right here, it gives you a synopsis of like a summary of the machine. So it's giving you right off the bat, the current temperature inside the room right here. So it's 73 degrees, 40% humidity, and it's telling you your volatile organic compounds. It's in a green level, which means it's good and it's not detecting anything. So that's also good. And then when it says good and the background of the screen of the app is green, it means that you have very good air quality. So now that I showed you all other settings of the machine, let me show you the remote and how it works virtually on the app because it's really cool. So you have your power on and off. You have auto mode, which what you can do is if you don't want to be constantly changing this level, you know, the speed levels for the fan, it can monitor it on its own. So based on how much purification your air needs, it will increase or decrease the speed of the fan. And then next right here, you can adjust the speed as well yourself. This is the basic oscillation. You can turn it on or off. Now, if you need to pretty much go way more in depth with your oscillation, what you can do is press on the remote 
and then go under oscillation right here. And then you can customize the degrees. So it gives you the option of 45, 90, 180, or 350. So let's just say we're gonna do 45 degrees and you can take the circle and take it to the side. So that means that when the fan is to the side like this, it's only gonna oscillate the 45 degrees to that side. And that's really cool. So you can customize the oscillation and where it's going so it's not set in a certain location. Next, you can also put on a timer. So if you want the fan to turn off after a certain time, you can do that as well. And then right here with the speed, what you can do is just hold that down and then swipe up, down, swipe up, down to change the speed of the fan. Next, like I mentioned already, you have auto mode, which I already went over. Next, you also have night mode. Now, night mode is meant, you know, for really, it's, it's in the name. So what it is is that once you're going to sleep at night, you don't want to hear the fan all night. What it does is that it just silences your fan a lot more and it works at a very lower, um, a lower setting when it comes to airspeed. So you don't hear your fan during the night while you're trying to sleep. And then finally you have reverse direction airflow. And what that does is pretty much circulates the air in another direction. This is really useful if you are already cold or cool and you don't want the fan, you know, directing air at you. What you can do is have it go in the reverse and that way it can still be on and continue to purify your air. So this was my video where I give you a walkthrough of the Dyson Link app. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to like and subscribe. If you have any questions, leave them down below. This is a really cool app and it's crucial for you to be using it with your fan because it gives you so much data and you can do so much from it that it's really neat to use and know how to use. So I hope you have a great day. Take care.